Live from Little John Coliseum here on the campus of Clemson University, ACC Network Extra presents men's basketball action as the homestanding Clemson Tigers take on the Panthers of High Point. Hi everybody, I'm Don Munson along with Ralph Patterson. We welcome you into the newly remodeled Little John Coliseum. We'll talk more about that as we go throughout the broadcast. But Ralph, we've got two teams here that so far struggling a little bit here in the month of November trying to get their season off and off to the right foot. Yeah, and you're right, Don. And both coming off losses. This is a big game and both teams have had good practices. I think they're ready to roll. Well, let's talk about who they're going to count upon. First of all, Andre Fox for High Point. He's gotten off to a great start. 6'4 guard. Honored as the Big South Player of the Week last week. He had 23 against Virginia Tech. Another 23 against Navy. And he's just filling it from the three-point line, shooting at 58% right now. Clemson was looking to replace their big man from last year, Landry Noble, and they've done it with City Jute. I love him. He plays so hard against Oklahoma. He had 14 points, 14 rebounds, and he played 40 minutes. Really was praised by Coach Brownell. Clemson would love to see him play 40 minutes. He's fouled out of two games already. He's got 16 fouls in four games. He needs to stay on the floor. All right, starting lineup says we'll take a look at them as we concentrate on high point. First of all, we mentioned Andre Fox, Miles Bowman, a double-double guy for the Panthers. Clemson, obviously, Jerron Blossom game, the returner. Turned down the NBA draft and is back. And Gabe DeVoe is also a guy that has been filling it up for the Tigers so far here early on in 2016. Head coach of High Point, one Scott Cherry, a graduate of North Carolina in 1993, was on North Carolina's national championship team, as a matter of fact, in 1993. Done a great job with High Point, especially the last couple of years, winning 20 games in each of the last two, 20 plus. And the opening tip will be controlled by Clemson as Avery Holmes will come away with it. And High Point will open up a little zone pressure here against Clemson. DeVoe off the wing, Holmes up front, dumps it a Blossom game, outside DeVoe, he'll fire the three and can it, and Gabe DeVoe picking up where he's left off in the previous four. Well, he's shooting 37% from the three-point line. This Clemson team is supposed to be a much better shooting team, and he's gotten off to a great start. Brad Brownell's Tigers open up in man-to-man. -man. Fox has it out front, picks up the dribble, will hand it off. 15 on the shot clock. Drive it inside. Chate comes across and blocks it. Would be a tip away from Madison. Grantham. Blossom game. Thought about it. Now will slow it down and bring it outside. And again, High Point will set back in that active zone. DeVoe thought about it. Holmes looking to try to give it a Grantham. Throws it out of bounds. Head coach of the Tigers, Brad Brownell. Team won 10 games in the Atlantic Coast Conference last year and still did not see any postseason. How many times have you seen a, a team go 10 and 8 in the Atlantic Coast Conference play and not see any postseason? That's why these games here in the month of November, December are so big to Clemson. Well, not many leagues have Duke, North Carolina, Syracuse, etc., etc. <laughs> it is. Fox can't make it. Rebound at Grantham. Holmes back outside Grantham. Here's Blossom game. Moving around quickly, Avery Holmes. In the paint, they will go to Blossom game. Off the window, good for two, and Clemson the 5 nothing lead. I think they need to make sure the offense goes through him every time. He at least needs to touch it. Outside, Fox, crossover, working against DeVoe. Picks up his dribble, out front, feeds it to right. Right, no, excuse me, right, just a freshman point guard, but he's done a great job for high point. They are excited about the young freshman point guard. Fadeaway jumper, no good. And a rebounding foul. Ricky Madison picks up the foul, but here's Gabe DeVoe with our first points of the night. Off of the assist there, and then down inside, City Jete playing a little defense. Clemson 2 of 2 so far from the field. High point 0 of 2. Holmes out front, misses a 3. Jate can't come down with a rebound, but is going to be fouled. And I think that they're going to get Madison again. And if they do, that's his second. It is Ricky Madison. 
So Madison will pick up his second. And Tariq Thompson, the senior 6'5", from Raidford, North Carolina in. Here's DeBow. No good. Jate cleaning the glass. Left-handed wow. shot inside. He's added that little soft left-handed baby hook right there. Hit a three against Oklahoma. Last time out for the Tigers. So 7-0 Clemson with the early lead here. Driving it inside against Jate and off the glass and good. That's Bowman. So Miles Bowman, who came in averaging 10.6 and also 10 rebounds a game, gets High Point on the board, 7-2 Clemson. I like what High Point's doing with the little uh, soft full court pressure back into the zone. You mentioned it earlier, it is an active zone. The Grantham three, no, rebounded by Lindor. Off on the wing, bounce pass inside, back outside Lindor, they work it around, three ball, Fox got it. Yeah, mentioned he's a 58% shooter. Lindauer's a good shooter, too. I think another reason High Point plays a lot of zone is because Lindauer's not a great defensive guy. 7-5, Clemson by a pair here early on. DeVoe looks inside that zone. Holmes right back to DeVoe. Back over Avery Holmes, three ball on the way. Got it. So the transfer from San Francisco. Played here last year for the Tigers, settling in as a, they thought he was going to be really the two guard, but with the a injury to Shelton Mitchell. He's had to move back over to point, 10-5 Clemson. Right, the little pull-up jumper in the paint is good from 10. That's an impressive play for a little uh, freshman. 5'11", 175 pounder from Maryland. Grantham looking inside, one at Blossom game, not there. DeVoe on the wing with 15 on the shot clock. Grantham now will lob it in to Jete, and he'll be fouled. Bowman got him with the body. And that will also bring us to our, our first official timeout. So City Jete has been active here early on in this first half, and Clemson with a 10-7 lead on high point. Back here in Little John, 10-7 in favor of the homestanding Tigers over the Panthers. Take a look in at the high point huddle. We talked a little bit about Andre Fox in the open. Uh, Ralph, here's a guy that was only averaging 5.4 last year, over 17 this year. Well, and he's gotten off to a great start, and he needs to. John Brown, player of the year in the Big South last year, is gone. Lorenzo Cagini, a great three-point shooter, he's gone. Both those guys playing overseas. They really need Andre Fox to ring the bell from out there, and so far, so good. And those guys, a couple of years ago, remember High Point came in to the old little John and gave the Clemson Tigers fits. Sure did, three-point game. Here's Holmes up front. Out of DeVoe in the paint. Blossom game, a little pump fake. Gets collapsed upon. Outside, Avery Holmes a three off the back of the rim. No, Grant from the taller. Grantham just go over top of the rebound. DeVoe, outside of Blossom game. Holmes, DeVoe, 4 three. Got it. Second three of the game for Gabe DeVoe. He's got six. They better get to him on the catch or they're in trouble. By that, I mean as soon as he catches it, they've got to have a hand in his face. Gabe's got a quick release. Right into the forecourt against that man-to-man -man pressure. We'll give it to Fox. Lindauer puts it on the floor, drives against Grantham, tries to dump it across to Thompson. Ball batted out of bounds. Let's go back to that Gabe DeVoe three-pointer. Good yeah, bloodlines. Good lines ball for movement. Great bloodlines, Gabe DeVoe. David Thompson is his cousin. Alvin Gentry, head coach of the New Orleans Pelicans. Uh, Derek Wittenberg, all in the family. <laughs> Pretty good bloodlines there. Lindauer feeds it out, driving on the wing, inside ball knocked loose, outside to right. Three ball, good. Wright's got five. I like this little freshman, Jamal Wright. 13-10, Clemson by a tray. You see so far, high point. 100% from outside the arc, and here is Blossom Dean. That's easy inside the paint from only seven feet. Again, I can't say it enough. They they need to run that offense through him. He needs to get as many touches as possible. Fox off the left wing. In front of Vargo. Into the hands of Jamal Wright. Back to Vargo. 13 in the shot clock. Lindauer going to drive against Jate. Dump it off in the corner. Here's Fox again. Or excuse me, that's Wright. 
out of the corner for three. And all of a sudden, Jamal Wright with eight points came in averaging 8.2 a game. And he was shooting just 30% from the three-point line. He's drilled a couple. Blossom games three is an air ball. Lindauer with the rebound. Wright working against Holmes. Still man-to-man -man for Clemson. Working the paint inside. Little left-handed jumper by Thompson. No good. And Jute able to pick it up off the ground. Grantham back over to Holmes and Highport going to stay in that zone. Yeah, I think they need to. I don't think they match up well with Clemson. Holmes, DeVoe drives into the paint, draws a foul. And that foul going to go against Luke Vargo. So the freshman from Dublin, Ohio, picks up his first since the team's fourth. Grantham will check out in the ball game. And here is our first look at Shelton Mitchell. So Mitchell on the floor for the first time in a Clemson uniform, the transfer from Vanderbilt. And Marquise Reed will also check in. And I expect the pace to pick up a little bit Mitchell, with Shelton Mitchell. Mitchell missing some time with a meniscus injury to the knee. Here's DeVoe for three. Got it. He's three for three outside the arc. He's got nine. Go ahead, Gabe. Those bloodlines, we're talking about the Wittenberg and the Thompson. True to form. Here's White with it out front. Austin White, first look at him, running the point. Fox puts in the floor. Back to White. They swing it in the corner. Three ball is going to be no, and there's Jate. Probably not the shot they want Vargo taking. Driving it down. Blossom game will drive it right at Vargo and pick up the foul. So far, high point. There's a little young freshman point card yeah, getting it Jamal done. Jamal Wright. But then Clemson coming right back with Gabe DeVoe incoming. And he did a great job. Step into his shot and just buried it. Shoot it again, Gabe. <laughs> Here's Mitchell. Here it comes. Back there outside. you go. Incoming. No good. There's Jate with the rebound. Takes it down and then goes to the floor. That's a travel. Lost his balance coming down. Vargo may have had something to do with it. But Jate couldn't keep his feet. So Clemson up five is high point. Will come on the attack. Austin White out front picks up the dribble. Gives it to Fox. Working against DeVoe. Going to drive it against DeVoe. Put up the runner. No. Jate with a rebound. DeVoe. Into the fourth court on the dribble. Out front finds Mitchell. The ball knocked away. Picks it back up. Jate try to get it inside. Knocked away. Jate picks it back up. They're going to get a foul on Jate. That'll be his first. That's his first. So that's... He made it eight minutes without fouling. He did make it eight minutes. And that's a first team foul actually against Clemson. So Clemson up five as we head off the break here with 11.55 to go first half. Young Jamal Wright with eight points so far in the first half. A Friday night before a rivalry football game here in the Palmetto State has a nice crowd on hand here at Little John Coliseum. Don Munson, Ralph Patterson along with you. And so far, J City Jete has been as advertised. Well, he plays so hard. He's a rebounding machine. Already has six rebounds. He had 14 against Oklahoma the other night. And he's so important to this Clemson team. Three offensive boards and three defensive boards so far for Jete. He's on the bench. Fox out front to Vargo. Little weave, give it right back to Fox. White drives at the foul line, dumps it low, gets in the hands of Bowman. Back outside Williams, working around. White gonna drive the paint, dumps it off, and a shot inside. Good by Fox in traffic. Boy, that's a tough shot, too. I really didn't think High Point would get many opportunities to score inside like that, but. Credit Fox, nice play. Well, with Jate out of the lineup, Clemson goes a little smaller, a little easier for High Point to match up. Here's Reed. Mitchell bounce pass inside Blossom game. Jump hook from 8-0. No. Fox up high with a rebound. 
three ball here could tie it for high point. They trail it by three, 18, 15. We come to 11 minutes to play. Dump it inside, Bowman. And it knocked loose, picks it back up, gives it to Fox, ball fake, steps in, drew the foul, fired the shot, no. And the foul will be on Reed, and Fox will go to the line to shoot a pair. Watch his shot by Fox. In traffic, use that body nice. And I like the 1980s style shorts <laughs> that he's wearing. <laughs> They're not quite John Stockton-esque, no, but they're pretty good. not even close, but he's <laughs> he's bringing them back. I like it. Vargo will check out. Fox will have a second opportunity. Good. You know, Don, you mentioned earlier, High Point won the Big South regular season the last four years. This is a really good basketball team. But they graduated four guys that won 77 games in four years, so they lost a lot. Grantham, the finger roll, the front of the rim, off the back of the rim, and it falls. So 20 to 16, Clemson by four, 10 40 here in this first half. And that had to disappoint Coach Cherry. You don't want a guy going coast to coast, laying it up without getting a charge or something. Lindauer's long three is no good. Reed with the rebound. He'll feed it off on the wing, Grantham going to drive it to the paint, outside, Reed for three. Got it, and he'll go to the line looking for the four-point play as he got crushed outside by Austin White. He did get crushed, and I thought he traveled before he shot it. Here, he'll get the pass back. Nice little double step there. Jumper and got drilled. We have a timeout that's been called 30-second timeout. Called here by High Point as all of a sudden Clemson has extended this lead now to seven points at 23 to 16. Well, and folks have wanted Clemson to show improvement from the three-point line, and they're they're burying them right now. Oh no, the Tigers have been lighting it up outside at the arc so far. They're five of eleven outside the arc. DeVoe leading the way is three of five. Holmes one of three. Reed just hit his first three-pointer. And Reed is a guy that earlier this season in the opener for this newly renovated Coliseum had 19 against Georgia. Yeah, he's shooting 53% from so out there. Yep, yeah, Reed will come to the line looking to complete a four-point play and extend the Clemson lead to eight. Reed on the year, 16 of 17 from the charity strike. So 94.1%. at home and Clemson all of a sudden up eight 24 16 right back in the ball game from all right the freshman point guard was it left-handed had a ball knocked loose able to get it back he's it outside jumper from 18 no good there by Bowman rebounded by the Tigers here comes Shelton Mitchell with it looks in the corner finds DeVoe bounce pass to Grantham back to DeVoe still the zone pressure here for high point Shelton Mitchell for the try to three. Short rebound and Jatay in the follow. Hey, he thinks every miss is his. Seven rebounds, four points now for Jatay. And Clemson's up ten. Right. Here's White with it. Driving it against Mitchell and pick up the foul. Let's watch, go back and watch 50 here. City Jatay comes from the offside, and nobody blocking him out. That's just too easy, Ralph. Well, and, and he plays so hard anyway, but that, that's one thing. Coach Brownell just loves him. He thinks every miss is his, and he plays so hard. He, he, he goes through players sometimes, and, and that, that might be why he gets in foul trouble sometimes. But guy, I'd love to have him on my team. Avery Holmes back in the game as Shelton Mitchell will check out. Fox will pull up jumper from 18, shoot at 17, fight on the floor for it. DeVoe hustling, feeds it to Holmes. Bounce pass in the corner, Reed going to take that three, and he's going to bury it. Already the sixth three-pointer in this first half for Clemson, and they have built a 13-point lead. Fox out front, DeVoe picking him up. Clemson staying man-to-man. -man. White. And they had a little change there. Looks like they may have go a little. 
Yeah, just a switch out front. Yeah, they're switching. An 11-0 run, as you see there by Clemson. Inside, here's a travel. Jamal Wright got caught inside. Well, the three balls have just been raining for the Tigers here, Ralph. Yeah, Marquise Reed got into the act. Quickly in the forecourt, DeVoe going to fire it again off the back of the rim. No good. Long rebound, Fox. And in the forecourt. It was a three-point shot that helped High Point get off to a good start, but, boy, they don't get many opportunities like that. Cliff Thomas off the nice dish inside from Austin White. Thomas his first two, and that breaks the 11-0 run in 29-18 in favor of Clemson. Grantham, DeVoe, and off to Holmes. Right back to DeVoe. High point still in that 2-3 matchup zone. Reed. We get a three-second lane violation against Jate inside. The rare call nowadays. And that will allow Madison to check back in. Ricky Madison will come back in. And we're also going to get our first look here at Scott Spencer, the young freshman guard from Suffolk, Virginia. High point only one field goal in the last three and a half minutes. Right into the forecourt. Fox out front. Drive to the right high post and into the paint. Reed trying to dig down in low. Knocked it low, but knocked outside. In the hands of Wright. Ten on the shot clock. Right into the corner to White. Really good defense by Clemson. Right with six on the shot clock. Pull up three. Off the back of the rim. Chate again another rebound from and in front here is Reed, and Reed right in front of us gets fouled by Wright. Yeah, Wright just in the wrong place at the wrong time there. That'll be the seventh team foul against High Point. Clemson leading at 29-18. Back here in the newly renovated Little John Coliseum on the campus of Clemson University. Don Munson, Ralph Patterson along with you. 63.5 million Clemson dropped in this building over the last 16 months to renovate it. That's Patterson type money right there, brother. Absolutely. <laughs> so they rotated the court 90 degrees from its prior layout. The beautiful new Swan Pavilion, a newly designed operation complex and also practice facility that's connected to the arena. The Burton Gallery, a, a Burton Gallery, excuse me, a big 10,000 square foot area. As Reed, front end of the one and one is no good. But just a beautiful new Coliseum Club and courtside club seating area. More about that at halftime. Look at just two of nine since that five and eight start for High Point from the field. And they have no offensive rebounds. Well, Fox a spin move and then the tap can't get it. Blossom game. So it's the one, it's one and done for High Point. Great job of, of blocking out defensively for Clemson. Holmes going to drive the paint, rejected inside, but it comes right into the hands of Spencer. And it's blocked by Thomas inside. Here is Holmes, a three ball, in and out, no good. Jate battling for the rebound, <laughs> and it's going to be pushed from behind. Yeah, Jate got his hands on it again, and he did get fouled. He's just such a force. And he plays so hard, you got to put a body on him. Shot goes up. He assumes every shot is missed. Jock in for position. And Lindauer just trying to block him out. This is third. Wow. So here's Jute with a one and one. First one hits the back of the rim and then falls through. Rattled it home. Jute came in tonight's action. Fourteen or twenty-two from the line, and now you can make it sixteen or twenty-four. So up near sixty-five percent for the big from the line. Extends that lead back to thirty-one, eighteen, a thirteen-point advantage here for Clemson. Bowman Jr. out front to Thompson. Back over to Lindauer. Look how far they have to run their offense out. Oh, Great pressure right through the hands of Miles Bowman Jr. inside. And we'll get a look at legend Roberta. We'll check in. 
When you see an offensive team running their offense out at the Tiger Paw near half court, that's because Clemson's pressure is so strong they can't get into the defense. Shelton Mitchell also back in for Clemson at point. Into the forecourt, gives it to Reed, and then a lazy pass out front, knocked away by Wright. And the freshman will drive and lay it up. He's got 10 first half points. And that was a lazy pass by Reed. Nice play by Wright. 31 20, Clemson by 11. 6.05 to go first half. And High Point still not worried about the, the full court pressure. They want to make Clemson use as much clock as possible. Reed looks inside the zone, goes to Holmes. And they're going to get a ball call that's going to go against Clemson here. And I think they got Roberton. And they did. So here's Reed out front. Just the poor pass out front. Easy pickings there for Wright in the layup. And again, Jamal Wright, just a freshman. High point's got a good one with him. Averaging 8.2 coming in, already has 10 in the game. Here's Fox driving it left side, able to turn the corner against the bigger man and lay it up and in, and that has Brad Brownell off the bench and asking for a quick timeout. So he'll get a 30-second timeout here with 5.38 to go in this first half of play. And he's going to get some of his regulars back in. Jate going to check back in. Also DeVoe coming back in. We've talked about Andre Fox. Here he is again with the left hand. Don, he's a nice player. Really nice player. As we talked about last year, as a freshman, only averaged 5.4 points per game, but up and over 17, 17, 6 coming into tonight's action. And Fox, three of seven from the field, eight points, has hit a three, got a couple of rebounds. Yeah, his last two games he had 23. We mentioned it in the open he had 23 at Virginia Tech, had 23 against Navy. Shelton Mitchell okay, against Lindauer. Into DeVoe, and again, High Point going to pack it back in that zone. Blossom game, Mitchell. Holmes drives, splits the double team off the glass. No, but drew the foul to go to the line to shoot a pair. And they're going to get it. Son. We call Miles Bowman Jr. his second. There's a nice penetration right there. We haven't seen Clemson do that a whole lot. They've done most of their their work against the zone, you know, off the pass around the perimeter. Nice to see him get into the paint. Holmes hits the first. Ninth team foul against High Point. It was a two-shot foul anyhow. Second free throw. Rattles and falls. So right in the forecourt. Clemson up 11. Fox. Lindauer. First against Mitchell, into the paint, spins, puts up the runner. A tough shot, made it fall. <laughs> really tough shot. Spinning, running one-hander in traffic. Clemson up nine. And again, high point, not coming out of that zone. Mitchell drives, finds Holmes on the left wing. Right back to Mitchell, Blossom game top of the key, three, no. Rebounded inside, belongs and touched over into the hands of Wright. Lindauer, the spot up, long three is short, no good. Offensive rebound inside. I think that's their first offensive rebound. And a turnover though, Mitchell feeds it to DeVoe, to Holmes, drives it, no, doesn't fall, but got fouled. Boy, and that, is, that is great unselfish play by Clemson. Nice break. Here's the little run out, pitches it ahead. DeVoe, no dribble, gets it to a teammate. Holmes draws the foul. Foul is on Andre Fox as his first, the team's 10th. Holmes will shoot two here at the 420 mark. Clemson up nine. Make it 10. Grantham going to check back in. His Blossom game will check out. Now, when, when uh, 
when Avery transferred from San Francisco, did you get some of his old gear, the Dons? <laughs> did you get any old got stuff? got no Dons gear. Oh, you need to ask him. <laughs> Holmes hits them both. Clemson up 11 at 35-24. Clemson has not made a field goal in the last four and a half minutes. Williams works against Mitchell. Trying to force up a shot and able to draw a foul. And Mitchell can't believe the call. Second foul against Shelton Mitchell and the team's fifth against Clemson. Well, he yeah. did look like Williams maybe just lost that ball going up. Sure did. Williams will shoot a pair. Two of five in the year from the free throw strike. Make it three of six. White going to check back in. Austin White will check in as Fox will get a blow. 4 0 8 will have a timeout at the dead ball under four. So good sub there by Scott Cherry. Williams makes them both. You know, I mentioned uh, high point success in the, in the regular season. They've been so good. And then this league, the Big South, uh, has gotten so much better. Winthrop was picked to win the league. They just won at Illinois. Jumper by Holmes is no good. Clemson still without a field goal now in over five and a half minutes, but still up nine, 35-26. Free throws have kept him out of this lead. Williams. Looks left, finds Lindau. Holmes will pick him up, Clemson in that man-to-man. -man. Lindau are going to drop, stop at the right high post. 15-footer, good. Tough shot. He's hit two tough shots. That was a little off the wrong leg, bent leg, tough shot. The bow out front will find Holmes. Give it to Garrett Grantham. In the paint, Blossom game. Drives and dunks it. Hello. Wow. Wow. Well, that'll break the field oh. goal drought for Clemson in convincing fashion. Boy. So explosive. That's why I want him to get more touches. There's Linda a drag the pivot foot. And so that will bring us to an under four timeout. Clemson leading at 37 to 28. Lindauer, nice little floater from 13 <laughs> feet. And then Jerron Blossom game with an Wait. exclamation. Clemson up. Back in Little John, Don Munson around Patterson along with you. 2.54 to go here, first half. Rebounding has been a huge key in this game so far for Clemson. Boy, it sure, uh, sure is. And, and, you know, Chate is just a beast on the boards. Clemson's out rebounding high point 17 to 8. And high point has just one offensive rebound. City Jate already with nine boards, five of them on the offensive glass. And that's led to a 9-0 second chance point run for Clemson. And that's the difference in the game. Clemson up nine, DeVoe out front. High point staying in that matchup zone. Holmes will put on the floor. Excuse me. That's DeVoe putting on the floor. The ball knocked loose inside. They're going to say that's off Clemson. Off a Blossom game. So Fox, Madison, and Wright all checking back in for high point. Scott Cherry gets three of his starters back in the lineup. And Jamal Wright has had 10 first half points into the fourth quarter of the dribble. Comes to staying in man to man. Fox going to fire the long three. Short, no good. Offensive board inside. Fall away jumper, no good. And Chate with his 10th rebound of the game. Thompson couldn't get the little short thing to fall inside. Here's DeVoe driving it strong to a hole and a blocking foul called inside. And that will go against Tariq Thompson. Clemson wants to attack, and, and DeVoe can do it. He loves to get out in the open court and do his thing. Draws the foul there. So DeVoe, so far through four games, 7 of 10 at the free throw strike. And shoot two here with Clemson up nine with 2.08 to go first half. DeVoe now into double figures with 10 points with that free throw. Right there. 
second free throw on the way, and it's good as well. <laughs> I got a text from part of his the DeVoe family. <laughs> Curtis Brown played at Central Wesleyan, too. I forgot about him. How could you forget I Curtis Brown? How could we forget that? Clemson up 11, 39-28. Fox out front, travel with it. Too much shake and bake. Fox squares up, tries to take the bow. So Clemson up 11 with the basketball. Biggest lead's been 13. DeVoe the lob, the Boston game inside, can't finish. Madison from behind got him. That's good coaching. They talked about it in the timeout. A lot of times opposite long is open against the zone. There's that diagonal long pass right there. So Blossom game will go to the line to shoot a pair. Blossom game 14 of 22 coming in tonight from the charity strike. Hits the first. Seven points now in the night for Jerron Blossom game to go along with a couple of rebounds and an assist. Throw. He's good, and Clemson's matched their biggest lead of the game at 13 points, 41-28. Lindauer to Fox. Clemson staying man-to-man. -man. Fox now picked up by Blossom game. Look at the right, going to drive it baseline. Dump it in the corner. Fox for three. Yes, and one. Chate got him. So and that, and that's, a foul. that's a foul that Brad Brownell does not want Jate to make 25 feet from the basket. All right, they call that a two-pointer and not a three. And a two-pointer, not really? a three. Okay, it was a three. Second foul on Jate. So Jate will sit. Fox misses a free throw, and Grantham will grab the rebound. DeVoe traveled with it out front, starting to drive. You know, one of the things about Clemson coming into this game, Ralph, is you just take a look at the stat sheet. They had six players averaging 22 minutes or more, and then it drops to eight. Is, right. the, is the seventh in Roberton with only averaging eight minutes a game. That's the importance of having maybe a Shelton Mitchell back. It's kind of like the old Bobby Crimmins theory. You know, Crimmins used to play with only seven or eight guys, and that'd be about it. Well, and this earlier in the year, high minutes. Blossom game, 35 minutes. Gabe, 34. Avery, 34. Grantham, 36 minutes. Fox inside, blocked by Blossom game and picked up by DeVoe. Under a minute to go. Nice pass, Grantham inside, layup, good. DeVoe came in tonight, leading his team in an assist with 15, picks up a dime there. And Grantham will go to the line, looking for the three-point play the Naismith way. Watch the block here There's the by block Blossom and, game. And here they go. Nice pass by DeVoe. Finds Grantham. Ball fake. Good job. Grantham converts the three-point play with 48 seconds left. And Clemson up 44-31. Fox top of the key. Picked up by Blossom game. Fargo. Feeds it off the right. Right with a bigger Grantham on him. 10 to shoot. Drives by Grantham. Shot maybe bothered inside. Blossom game with a rebound with 20 seconds left. And Reed. We'll bring it in the fourth court. Clemson will play for the final shot. Peter to Holmes. He's going to fire the three. He's going to lose. No good. Ball knocked out of bounds. Off of Clemson with 6.3 left. And I'm not so sure that's a shot that Brad Brownell wanted from Avery Holmes. That was way too early in the clock. Yeah, probably was. And, and But it's early. Early in the season. Here's Wright. Into the forecourt, picked up by Blossom, game drives it right by Blossom, game <laughs> rejects the shot to end the half. Wow. Wright thought he had two layups the last two possessions, came up with a goose egg. There's that block. Jerron Blossom game with the rejection, and Clemson goes to the locker room up 13.
Clemson up 13 on high point as we get set to start the second half of play. Don Munson, Ralph Patterson along with you. Let's go take a look at some highlights from this first half of action and tell you how Clemson got here to this 13-point lead. And Ralph, first for high point early on as the young freshman guard. Jamal Ryan, he's really good, really impressive. And Lindauer hits him for an open three. And this is a freshman doing this stuff on the road in the ACC. Didn't get a whole lot in the paint. Uh, did high point, able to turn. That's Fox who came in leading score for high point at over 17. Lindauer with a nice little pull up jumper. And then one more time, there is the young freshman right feeding it off in the corner for the three and the foul. And Clemson inside, well, defensively, Jete had one of the three blocks. And then early on, Jete was just manning up on the boards inside. Yeah, they just don't have anybody that can hang with him. There's Grantham with the nice play. And now the, the they just did such a good job on the boards. That's the difference in the game. Inside, Blossom game with a nice solid finish inside on the dunk for Clemson. And then this was the play that ended the half. Lawson game with the block that sent us to the locker rooms with Clemson up 13 at 44 to 31. So as you, upcoming schedules for both teams, first of all for the Panthers, take a look. They are on the road at Morgan State, home to Drexel, then a trip to an SEC opponent, then a couple of more home games before Christmas gets here. Clemson's upcoming schedule, ACC Big Ten Challenge against Nebraska. That's on an upcoming Wednesday night. And then you can see out of state, but three straight here. Actually, this is the beginning of a five straight homestand here for Clemson before they break that and travel to Alabama on the 18th of December. Crowd just begging for a shot. Come on, give them the ball, let me shoot. Now you mentioned there's a fairly big football game about 200 yards from here. Yep. So the folks that are here new little John, will they just tailgate all night long? Oh yeah, they'll they'll just go to their camper, go to their RV, crank it up, get ready for again for tomorrow. Tomorrow night's action against South Carolina in the rivalry game here in the Palmetto State. Clemson trying to keep their hopes alive for a playoff berth. Need a win over South Carolina. To, and then, of course, Clemson on their way to the ACC championship game. And with North Carolina losing in football today, they now know it will be Virginia Tech in Orlando. Wow. Next Saturday night at 8 o'clock for the ACC championship. Win that one. And most people figure you win two, then you're on your way to the yep. playoffs and a chance to play for a national championship if you can get by one of the other seeded teams. Boy, rivalry week in college football, man, ain't nothing like it. It's awesome. <laughs> it is. Today's been an active day. High point ball to start the second half. Right away, the DeVoe trying to force a turnover, but picked up. And driving in the hoop is Madison and laying it up and in. Boy, they just got to look what I found. Easy basket, maybe their easiest bucket of the night. It was off a broken play. I'm not going to come out and pick up a little full court pressure. It's just you back off it. It still stay packed back in that zone. DeVoe, Chate, Blossom game on a low block. Easy two. Yeah, and I think we'll see more of that. You know, they played Blossom game at the, in the high post or mid post a good bit of the first half. And nice move by Coach Brownell to get him on the block. Blossom game with eight on three of six shooting. He's right out front. Skip pass all the way to the corner to Fox. The three ball is short. Jate, another rebound inside. Jate just piling up the rebounds. Now at 10. Grantham, Holmes right back to Grantham. Touch pass, skip pass to Holmes. Outside, Grantham, three on the way. Got it. Dante Grantham to me, Ralph, could be a really big piece of the puzzle this year for Brad Brownell. Oh, there's no question he could be. That, that, that was a big three for him because he has not shot it well so far this season. Maybe that's a confidence builder, but I agree with you. He, he's got a chance to really help this team. Lindauer the drive high off the Whoa. glass and two. Teardrop. 49-35, Clemson by 14. Grantham driving. DeVoe to the baseline. Holmes, three ball, no. Rebound is 
knocked away, and Jete has picked up his third, I believe. Yep. So a big foul there early on in this second half against City Jete. Picks up his third, and the Blossom game little jump hook. Nice play. Nice pass by Jete. Little high low action. So Jete will go to the Pines here with 18 16 and an easy entry pass inside and an easy two for Bowman. Yeah, it's too easy. So that 16 point lead's been cut to 12 at 49 37. DeVoe back over to Holmes. Now front Blossom game. Bounce pass Grantham. 12 on the shot clock. Holmes with it. Finds Grantham going to drive it baseline. Got stuck outside of Holmes. Two on the shot clock. Forced it up and drew the foul. Yeah, Jamal, Jamal Wright. Wright. Yeah, he's mad at himself. That's his second. The team's first of the half. And really, you, do, you don't want to bail out the offensive team like that. Here's the drive. Foul at the end. And he hammered him. And they call it a non-shooting foul. And now the officials are going to get together and discuss this. Two and shots. Yeah, uh, give it a two shot. Tim Comer, Jerry Heater, Justin Porterfield are three assists, our three officials here tonight. Scott Cherry didn't like the change very much. And you can I, understand I actually why. agree with Scott Cherry. Holmes buries the first one, puts Clemson back up by 13. Second free throw off the back of the rim, no. So a 13 point lead for Clemson and plenty of time left here in this second half. Lindauer feeds it off to Fox. DeVoe will pick him up in the sticky man to man. Bounce pass stole away by Blossom Game. Looking for somebody to fill the lane and he never was yeah, there. Yeah, Fox tried to get tricky, it didn't work. Blossom game, this time a little jump hook is good from 10. Elevation in the sweet touch by Blossom Game. Boy, he just gets up effortlessly. Blossom game now into double figures with 10. Here's right. Pull up jumper from 15, shot at 16. Rebound in Bowman though, and right back in the hands of Wright. A rare offensive rebound. Bowman by Roberto Roberto with a block it into the hands though of Mason and another block and a foul there on Roberto. So Roberto with the foul. Madison at the line to shoot a pair. Soft touch off the front of the rim, gets it to fall. Third point of the night for Ricky Madison. Second free throw is good. DeVoe going long, finds Holmes. With Grantham driving baseline. Comes it to Holmes. Blossom game outside DeVoe. Three ball, no. And then down the rebound. Quickly into the lane, drives off the glass and good. Seen that before from Lindauer. He'd be a good horse player, you know what? 52-41, <laughs> high point creeps back to within 11, but still a double-digit lead for Clemson. 16.05 left in regulation. Lob, Blossom game, lays it up and in. And not a good pass by Gabe DeVoe, and Blossom game did a great job to Catch it and finish. Fox driving inside will draw the foul on Holmes. Holmes will pick up his first, and that will also send us to a timeout. So Clemson, as they were at halftime, still up 13 despite the effort of Lindauer. Back here in Little John, six quick points in the first 4.07 of this second half by that man, Jerron Blossom game. 
Nice adjustment by Coach Brownell at halftime. He said, how about we get the ball to our best player? 14 points now in the ball game for Blossom game and bailing out Gabe DeVoe there with the elevation and nice catch in the easy two. As you can see, 14 points, three rebounds, a couple of blocks, a steal. What well, he just makes everything look so easy. He's so talented, and he's such a team guy. He's turned down a couple shots in the paint that I thought he should have taken, and he pitched it back out for an open three. That's kind of a good news, bad news thing. I want him to shoot that. Andre Fox hits the first free throw. As play comes back in and hits the second. Andre Fox makes but again, an 11-point lead for Clemson at 54-43. DeVoe will give it to Grantham, right high post, turn and shoot from 18 and bury it. That's a good job. That's open. Grantham good enough to catch it and square up and bust that. 56-43. Clemson keeps the lead at 13. Here's right. Drive to the left high post. Fox outside the arc. Going to drive it to the paint. Puts the runner up. No good. Battle for the rebound inside. That'll be off of Clemson. One of the things that we noticed in the stat sheet when we were handed at, at between the break there is that high point outscoring Clemson in the paint at 24 to 18. There's the basket by Grantham. The little quick catch and shoot. Gotta love the fact that the big 6'8 guy never brought it down to the floor. Really nice. Lindauer out front. Gets it off to right. And we're going to get an illegal pick. Or actually a little shove. And High illegal Point screen. was running the old no. flex offense. One of the oldest offenses in American basketball history. It's still a good offense, though. Shelton Mitchell back in the ball game. We'll give it off to Gabe DeVoe. Now back over to Mitchell. Anxious to see Mitchell turn it loose a little bit. Grantham fakes it to Mitchell. We'll give it to Mitchell. Looking inside. Outside Grantham with eight on the clock. Buries the long three. And all of a sudden it's Dante Grantham. How about that? And Mitchell shows up second half with different shoes than he wore the first half. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? Foul called off the ball. <laughs> That'll go against Clemson. Goes against Roberton. That's his third. 14 foul of the half against Clemson. Easy play inside to Thompson. Well designed play there by Scott Cherry. That's right. Clemson got caught in a switch there. 59-45. DeVoe the long three, no, Roberton trying to grab the rebound, can't, comes into the corner, Wright comes away with it. Out front feeds it to Fox, Lindauer back in the corner, Fox a step back three, no, but gets fouled by Blossom Game. <laughs> so Blossom Game. That's his first 15 foul against Clemson. Boston Bay just went up, trying to get his body to elude him, but must have caught enough of Fox. Fox will get three. Hits the first. Second free throw good. You know, the zone, the zone defense that High Point's been playing, Don, really has done a good job for High Point. They want Clemson to shoot threes off of one or two passes without really making the zone work. If, if Clemson's hitting the threes, they're in trouble. But if they're not, that helps keep High Point in the game. Fox makes all three free throws. It's 59-48 again in an 11-point lead. High Point has gotten to 11 on several occasions, but really haven't been able to cut it to single digits. Mitchell trying to drive the lane, comes up short, and here's an opportunity. Jamal Wright in the fourth quarter against Mitchell, drops inside, blocked by Blossom game. Rebound and go, and put back up and in by Thompson. And High Point 
finally cracks that double-digit barrier. There was in nine at 59-50 with a lot of time left. And really nice play by Tariq Thompson to finish that shot. And a timeout will be called here by Brad Brownell at the 13-15 mark. His team had been up 16, but now it is up nine at 59 to 50. So the block inside, picked up, lay back up and in, and high point battling back here in Clemson, South Carolina. So High Point has cut the Clemson lead that was 16 not long ago down to nine, forcing a timeout by Clemson. And off of the inbounds play, they got an easy two. Shot block, picked up though by Thompson, got guys in the air, the easy layup. And all of a sudden, Scott Cherry feeling a little bit better about things. A lot better. And give it to High Point. They, you know, they're they're doing well in the paint. It's not conventional throw it inside and jump over somebody. It's mostly ball penetration from the wing. The jump hook by Blossom. Game off of the timeout. It's no good. Right for the rebound. Fox outside. Travel with it. Wow. And he did travel, but every college player in America does that. And this time he got called for it. Tim Cromer on the call. Shelton Mitchell working it up floor against Austin Wright. Works it in the fourth court to DeVoe. And we'll get it right back. For Anthem. Left high post. Blossom game through it high. DeVoe goes up and gets it. Bounce pass right back to Blossom. Game the jump. Oh, that's good. Hey, he's got that little jump. It almost looks like it comes off the hip. Well, and it's not. He doesn't really extend. But he's, and you think he needs to, but he's so effective with it. I'd leave him alone. 16 for a Blossom game, eight already in this second half. Thompson back up 11. White, Bowman outside. He'll try the three and bury it. So the big steps out. Miles Bowman. He's really a great story, Don. He, he's had multiple knee surgeries. Both of his parents died when he was eight years old. He's, this is a, a guy that I admire a lot. Really an inspiration to a lot of folks. High point to within eight. Blossom game right. High post. Going to drive on Bowman. Trying the short jump hook. Now and Bowman will grab the rebound. Chance to cut it to six. Maybe even five. 11.45 left. And there you see a 10-2 run by the Panthers here over the last two and a half. Fox to the foul line, takes the jumper, got it! Wow. Was looking for the foul and didn't get yeah, it. Yeah, he sure was. Nice ball screen right there and got the open shot. Fox warming up, he's got 18. Averaging 17.6 coming in. All of a sudden the two stars for both teams beginning to elevate their play. Absolutely. Mitchell out front. Gives it to Grantham. Blossom game inside. Layup good and a foul. Yeah, they just need to do that all night long. They can't guard him. Jamal Wright will pick up his third foul, the second in this half. And Clemson up 63 to 55 as Blossom game inside. Gets his 17th and 18th point of the night. Clemson leading at 63-55. Back here in Little John Coliseum, along with Ralph Patterson, I'm Don Munson. You take a look at the senior for Clemson, Jerron Blossom game. Ten points here so far in this second half. Gets the assist from Grantham. Going to the line for a three-point play, Ralph. Well, he's just so good in there. and It was just old school. He caught it, squared up. They weren't ready to defend him. He takes one hard dribble, lays it up, goes to the line for a three-point play. Got a guy like that that can find the holes in the zone. He's going to exploit them. Well, and they got to get it to them, and this yep. half they are. They're doing a much better job of that. Blossom game converts the three-point play. And Clemson up 64-55 with 11.05 to go. Jalen Williams, our first look at him in the ball game. Feeds it out front. Ricky Madison, White, outside to Thompson. Clemson standing that man-to-man. -man. Lindauer will feed it off. Driving it inside, putting a shot as Williams no good, and that goes out of bounds and it belongs to Clemson. You know, High Point's done a great job of getting back in this game, and 
That was just a bad play by Williams there. The junior college transfer out of Redlands Community College got trapped along that baseline. Shelton Mitchell in the fourth court will give it to Grantham. Grantham so far 13 points, four rebounds, four assists. Left wing, give it to the left high post. Nice. Looking stuff. inside for Jute, and Jute can't handle the pass, but it goes out of bounds. They say less touch by high point. But that was exactly what Coach Brownell wants. Blossom game flash high from the weak side. He caught it, threw it down to Jute. Nice high low stuff. Bounce pass inside. Jute misses the bunny. Rebounded inside by Thompson. Williams in the forecourt will slow it down. Clemson staying man to man. Hand it off. Austin White. Lindauer. Lindauer in the dribble coming right side. Step back. Take the jumper and that's no good. Last touch. Blossom game. Knocked it away inside from Thompson. Fox along with Wright and Bowman all checking back in. DeVoe and Mitchell will check out as Reed gets in you know Lindauer missed that three he's made some really nice difficult shots he's a good three-point shooter I've seen him make a bunch of pass years Avery Holmes also back in the Clemson line out front they feed it to Lindauer picked up there by Grantham trying to use the screen drive he'll jump into the screen in the right corner he'll feed it Fox going to drive, skip pass, Lindauer, pump fake, three ball, got it. There we go. He can do that. Lindauer now with 11, and it's 64-58. High point climbs to within six. Holmes out front, Grantham along three, no. Kisses the glass, didn't hit any rim. And high point, high point starting to feel like they got a shot to win this game. Remember, this high point team has won four consecutive regular season Big South titles. Lindauer, the three ball off the front of the rim. Jate with a rebound. I believe that's his 12th of the game. Lead pass, Grantham spins in the lane, flips it up, no. Jate the rebound, follow, no. And rebounded by Bowman inside. Right lost it in traffic. Reed comes away with it. Lead pass, Avery Holmes layup good. Really nice play. Nice pass by Reed. Coach Scott Cherry really upset about that last possession. Jamal Wright got a little greedy getting into the paint. Right on the crossover working against Holmes. Keeps the dribble alive. Now out front. Almost had it knocked away. Into the hands of Fox. This is the guy they got to get back involved offensively for high point. Five on the shot clock. Pass inside. Stolen away by Reed. Here comes Clemson the other way. Trying to dump it off to Blossom Game. Blossom Game stopped as Reed drove by and wasn't watching Reed go out of bounds and got caught a little flat footed. Turnover. Reed was able to keep it alive. Blossom Game had stopped. And we're going to get a timeout here called by High Point with 11, excuse me, with 8-11 left. And Clemson up 8 at 66-58. So off the break we'll go. High Point, see if they can make a run here late. 66. So the home standing Clemson Tigers up 8 here on High Point. And just a little over 8 minutes left. Clemson turning it up defensively, created a steal. Lead pass from Reed to Holmes for the easy two. And again, Fox got caught in traffic. Reed able to come up with a steal. That did not lead to points, however. But Clemson right now, points off turnovers are plus seven, 13-6 in that category, Ralph. And not many turnovers, really, either way. Clemson has nine turnovers, high point ten. That's not very many for an early season game. Right into the forecourt against Reed. We'll work it to Fox. Man to man here for Clemson. Fox trying to work against Avery. We'll give it out to Lindauer. He's got DeVoe on him and picks up a little touch foul out front trying to drive it. For Gabe DeVoe, that's his first foul. And the Team six, so it's not a one and one yet. 
High Point's only committed three team fouls so far this half. Fox will inbound it out front. And freshman guard Jamal Wright. He did off the Lindauer. And out of Fox. Skip past to Wright. Drives it on the baseline with Boston being on him. 12 in the shot clock. Steal by the goal and then he couldn't handle it. Skip that. Lost it out of bounds. Had two hands on it and couldn't hold on. I bet Jamal Wright hasn't been guarded by too many guys like 6'7", uh, drawn Blossom game. Boy, I tell you what that does, that resets the shot clock to sure 30 does. as well. well. He definitely had possession of it with two hands trying to turn it up court. Fox will inbound it, does so to Madison. Fox looks over to Scott Cherry. Comes right side now, back to the top of the key. We'll dump it. Bowman, little pump fake, going to drive it in the paint. And we get a foul inside that's going to go against Clemson. And I think they got Reed. Reed second, the team seventh, so one and one checks in here for High Point. Silky smooth touch there. You know, Don, I mentioned High Point. They graduated four really good players. John Brown was player of the year in the league a couple years in a row. And that senior class won 77 games, so they lost a lot of guys. And here they are playing on the road in the ACC. Only and we got us a ball game. Down six with 7.07 to go. Reed against the zone. Blossom game outside. Holmes back to Reed. Bounce pass in the paint. Blossom game. That jump hook from 10 is good. I can't say enough. He, he, he needs more touches. 21 for Blossom game. Puts Clemson up eight. Madison. And again, another reach in foul that will go against Reed. So he fouls Fox near half court. Blossom game just found the opening in the high post area. Got the, got the ball, turned and scored. Jamal Wright back in the ball game as Jalen Williams will check out. Fox will go to the line. 18 points, 6 of 8 at the charity strike for Fox tonight. Make it 7 of 9. Good done. I'm going to give myself a hard time. I say Blossom game needs more touches. He's got 21 points, <laughs> you know, 6.42 to go. But he's just so good. they got to get him the rock. So Fox now with 20 points on the night as he hits two and gets high point back to within six. Clemson led it by 16, 59, 43. With better than 13 minutes to go in this half. Reed outside to Bow had it knocked away, picked off. Here comes Fox with it. Lead pass Lindauer, easy two. High points within four. Got a big stop there, four point game. High point lost in this building by three just two years ago, 62-59. The two schools have played three times. Clemson's won all three of them, but two of the three have been decided by single digits. DeVoe driving baseline, double pumps, no. And the ball will be off of Bowman, they say, out of bounds. He'll stay with Clemson as Grantham will get back in. It's a light layup there by Lindauer. Closest that High Point has been in this game since it was 20 to 16 back in the first half at the 10:39 mark of the first half. Read the inbounds pass. The runner along the baseline is good from 12. Tough shot. Really tough shot. Reed now with nine points. Crowd gets into it. Lindauer, left wing. Works against Grantham. Crossover. Had it stripped. Blossom game. Throw it down, Jerome. 
<laughs> he did. 72-64 and a timeout by Scott Cherry. With 5.15 left, the guy that's your star stepping up big time. 15 second half points. Picks the pocket of Lindauer. And the easy two. He's a player. And the crowd on a Friday night in the Palmetto State enjoying themselves. And hey Don, this is my first time in, in the new Little John, and it's as good as advertised. What a what a great facility. The new curb video boards that are just outstanding. All the new electronics, the new sound system, 52,000 watts of new sound system. What would you and I have done with that in our college I, days? I kind of have, that's like my car. I'm kind of <laughs> like that. <laughs> so Fox will inbound it, down eight. Ball knocked away, but chased down by Madison before it went out of bounds. Again, Blossom game was in on there. Right. Bowman out front, works against Jate. Box into the paint, fades and fires from 10 and gets it. That's a good job. Really nice offense. Great patience. Really good finish by Fox. 22 for Fox. Here's Reed driving. Blocked by Fox. Picked up by Wright. And now we're starting to see why Fox got player of the week last week in the Big South Conference. He's a player. 15 on the shot clock. Wright. Out front, Bowman. Pump fake, drives it inside. Ball knocked away, picked up Holmes. Holmes will slow it down as he was shut down by Lindauer. Lindauer, good job of just stopping the ball. Really good. And it, that's not, you know, his best strength. That's one of the reasons they play so much zone. Holmes along three. Hello. Boy, they needed that. 75 66. Just a second three for Avery Holmes. He was just one of seven prior to that. No conscience for number 12. Lindauer. Here's the three ball from Lindauer. Short. Holmes with the rebound. Looking to push. Up the middle of the floor he goes. Blossom game drives it wow. strong and gets fouled by Madison. He had it caught back and was going to slam it home. He was going for the hammer there. And that will bring us to an official timeout. Fox doing his best to keep high point in it, but still trailing Clemson by nine. Fox offensively and defensively. Seventy-five, sixty-six, three forty-three left. Clemson was leading it by sixteen with about thirteen minutes to go. But High Point has cut into it with Avery Holmes. An unconscious three after he just been one of seven outside the arc. Dante Grantham has gotten into the act, but the story's really been Jerron Blossom game here in this second half. 23 yeah. points, 15 of which have come in the second half of play. And here's Blossom game at the line, looking for more. Pushing the lead to 10. And he's so unselfish too. There, there have been many, many possessions where he's had a chance to score and he's pitched it back out for an open teammate. This is second free throw to rattle home. He's got 25. Can I go back to your minds days? He could be like Fly Williams from old Austin P if he wanted to. I hear you. Bowman outside to Fox. Bowman pump fakes will drive against Chate. Chate will shut him down. Back to the wing he comes. Fox drives it sideline. Grantham on him. Spin. Blossom game comes in double teams and six in the shot clock. Fox forces it up. No. Chate with his 14th rebound. Good defense. Tough possession for high point. By the way, if you don't know who Fly Williams is, Google it. Yeah. And, and the cheer <laughs> that they had. <laughs> Holmes out front as White went for the steal. Read the long three. No. Rebound Fox. Right back to Fox. Spot up three. No. Rebound. Knocked 
knocked away from Reed. And they say off of Bowman. Well, that was a great shot. In fact, Fox did a nice job of giving the ball up to his freshman point guard who gave it right back to him for an open three. I thought he'd make that one. See the three pointers. Clemson nine of 26, high point six of 16. Most of those three were threes were early, really, yep. for both teams. And Clemson was four of ten early on in this game outside the arc. Reed gets the pick from Jute. Holmes going to take the three left side in and out, no good. Bowman the rebound. Clemson up 11, 77-66, 2.15 to go. Big offensive possession here for High Point. Wright drives it, stops, takes a short shot, no. Holmes with the rebound and the reach-in foul on the young freshman Jamal Wright, his fourth. Only the team's fifth. But that was a shot there that needed to fall there for High Point. Yeah, it did. And, and you know, and Wright, think about it. Freshman point guard, played the whole game. He only has three turnovers. You know, on the road in the ACC, pretty impressive freshman. Holmes into the fourth court, feed it to Grantham. Still high point in that zone, they've been in it all night. Grantham going to try the long three, short shot. Hey, battling for the board to the floor, he goes. Knocked loose and picked up by Thompson. Jate still hustling. Fox will give it to Thompson. Right off of the right wing, almost stumbled the ball. Lindauer pump fake, step back three. Got it. Wow, big shot. They're not going away. Lindauer with 16. An eight point game, 77 68. Clemson going to hold it out front, minute 15 and counting. 13 on the shot clock, about a 12 sec second differential. Reed crossover and gets fouled from behind. Lindauer got him. Here's a nice little step back three by Lindauer. He's had a nice offensive game. A minute three, Clemson's got to inbound it. Does so to Jate. Jate drops it down the lane and gets fouled. Runaway truck right there. <laughs> that was before the shot. Yeah. Ball's going to go to the baseline. That was a 17 foul, so this should be a one and one. Are they going to rule two shots here? This should be a one and one. So a minute one left, 60, 61 seconds left, and big free throws for City Jete. And Andre Fox, pretty brave guy to get in front of Jete there. His free throw is up and good. The big man steps up there and hits a big free throw. Still a three possession game though. 78-69. Clubs it up nine. Seventh point of the night for City Jute to go along with 15 rebounds. That is a career high for Jute. That's and a rebounds. lot of rebounds. That yeah. is a lot of and rebounds. And he had 14 last yep. game against Oklahoma. You know, and Clemson got out-rebounded on the year. Now, they out-rebounded Oklahoma badly last game, but the other opportunities, the opponents out-rebounded Clemson. So two big free throws there on both ends of the one-and-one. One. Chate may have a little blood on his arm. I saw it on the uniform. So he'll get attended to quickly. If they can get this done quickly enough, they will allow him to stay in the game. Athletic. Athletic training staff will just do a quick tape job there. They got a good cut man over there. <laughs> Ernie Pacheco. <laughs> one minute remaining in the game. Look that one up too, Google fans. <laughs> Lindauer the ball, three off the wing, no. Rebounded inside and a stick back is good by Thompson and a quick timeout with 51.6 left and this isn't over. 79-71, Clemson an eight-point lead. 
high point two and 36 all time against ACC teams. Their wins, Ralph, 1935, 1913 over Wake Forest, and in 1952, 84 75 over Virginia Tech. As you see, the layup by Thompson that makes it an eight point game. So you're saying it's been a while. It's been a while. <laughs> I was at that game at Wake. Old Dean Smith four corner <laughs> days. That's right. Now, speaking of Dean Smith, Scott Cherry played for Coach yep. Smith. They won the 93 National Championship. So Cherry played with Dante Calabria, Eric Montross, Derek Phelps, Donald Williams, George Lynch, Brian Reese. A few good players. Hey, Dante Calabria sighting. How yeah, about that? Yeah. Looking at the Clemson huddle. And up eight, 79 71. This high point team, you know, a, a beat it to death that they've won the Big South the last four years. They were picked fifth in the preseason poll. But this, uh, Scott Cherry's really done a nice job with his team. Well, we mentioned this. Stephen F. Austin, Kansas, Gonzaga, High Point. Right. The only team that have run regular season conference championships each of the last four years. That's a pretty good company. Pretty good company. And all those years they won the Big South regular season, they did not win the, the tournament. A foul blossom game in the backcourt. I think Lindauer got him. And that should be his fifth. But Scott Cherry was just awarded with a new oh, no. yep, go ahead. Sorry. contract extension. And I would do that too. He's a good coach. Actually, the foul was on Ricky Madison, and that was his fifth. Is that right? Let me check the scorer's table. The free throws will be coming here to Jerron Blossom game with 49.3 left. So Madison fouls out. Having scored four points, grabbed a couple of rebounds. 16 minutes of play. The Blossom game will go to the stripe where he is five of five on the night. 25 points, 10 of 15 shooting. Front rim off the glass and in. Lawson game looking to put Clemson back up by 10 and does so. 81-71 with 49-3 left. Right into the forecourt. Picked up by Blossom Game on the cut. They give it to Fox. Right back to right. Left side. Clean short. Long rebound to Grantham. Grantham, a big 6'8 guy that can handle the ball, will give it off to Reed, and he'll get fouled immediately. And that's not the guy you want to foul. Reed is 16 of 17 yeah. coming in in tonight's game from the strike. And Reed tonight is one of two from the free throw line. First free throw is good. Everybody always talks about Rick Berry, those kind of guys being from the free throw. Calvin Murphy was the guy that was yeah. the stud. From Niagara. Yep. Reed hits them both, 83-71. Clemson up 12, 25 seconds left. Right. Step back three, got it. Wow. 83-74 with 20 seconds left. Inbounds pass will come to Holmes. Wright going to pick him up. I don't think High Point's going to foul. Into the forecourt to Reed. Reed will dribble it. Get chased around by Wright. Now we will flip it over to Grantham with four, with three, two, one. And Clemson prevails over High Point by nine. Here tonight, 83 74, so now four, four games played between Clemson and High Point, and three of them have been decided by single digits, and Clemson moves to 4-0 all-time 
against the Panthers. Thanks to Deron Blossom Games, 27 points, three rebounds, and an assist. And a block, couple of block shots. One that ended the half, but certainly number five, the story of the second half for Clemson. Oh, what a second half, and what a player. And Clemson fans thrilled he's back. No doubt about it. So for Ralph Patterson, I'm Don Munson saying so long from Clemson, South Carolina, where the final score is Clemson 83, high point 74. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.